So thank you for your time. And again, uh, congratulations on such a, an amazing film and an amazing performance. So thank um, you. one of the things that most impresses me about uh, Jane's, uh, Jane's work is how she creates this different uh, layered uh, characters emotionally, yeah. um, how she re those character char characteristics are revealed throughout their journey. So how was working so many, so many emotional aspects of your character with her? That's a joy because, you, you know, it's rare that you get such a kind of complex canvas to, to, to push a character around on. And, uh, you know, that's what appeals for me about her work, her past work, and, and what appeals, I think, to all actors who would love to work with Jane. Um, she gives character-led drama the kind of breadth and scope it needs cinematically to really shine. And um, she's very apt at bringing out the rich detail of performance, the shifts in how she structures character's arc both in mm -hmm. her script but also mm -hmm. in the edit you know um you're asked to lean in and understand phil after watching him behave pretty apparently and um despicably at times so it's a it's it's a daring story to reveal that late mm -hmm. the key characters kind of pain and suffering that he carries um and i think she just does it masterfully and like i said she, she takes you as an actor to places that are uh, yeah, it just gives you the confidence to really be able to go there. Another interesting thing about this film is, um, uh, is it is a type of film that you have to watch it more than once. Yeah. Every time you watch it, you will, you will see different things about it. Because about you're allowed in as an audience. I think that's another thing. Yeah, she's not being prescriptive. She's not telling you what to think and feel. And she's it's letting real, you. It's real life. It's real character. So, so you, you, you'll see something new. And, and, and the, the most important thing that I get from the film is that there, there's a lot of topics that this film presents some yeah. from toxic masculinity from patriarchy uh sexuality um and most through all your characters so what was the most challenging topics or aspects from your character uh uh for you as an actor to work with i think probably the toxic masculinity I, by nature i'm slightly apologetic and uh i'm a bit of a people pleaser uh and i worry about what people think and this character doesn't i mean some profound level there's there's a lot of vulnerability as the story reveals but to the outside world he i had to kind of take on this hyper masculinity and jane was great she introduced me to the crew she said um oh this is um this is <laughs> phil um uh, you benedict's really nice we'll meet him at the end this is phil so <laughs> i full permission to be phil which is something because he says no and he stands his ground and he doesn't suffer fools gladly he's cruel to the people closest to him, his brother in particular, mm -hmm. this odd codependency. And to actually feel secure saying that, I mean, there, were, there were definitely beats like with, with Jesse, even where I was like, I'm so sorry, you know, just saying this stuff. It's just like, I'm kind of body shaming you left, right and center. It's like, it's not me. And he went, dude, you're doing great. You know, he's very, very <laughs> cool about it. He's, he's very cool as he is. But um, I think that was the biggest stretch for me. I understood his sensitivity. I understood that it was a time well, I think, you know, what he didn't understand about mm -hmm. his own sensuality and uh, sexuality and how that manifested in his life and the tragically short aspect of it as well. Like how did he, yeah. does he still understand that that's who he is? And I think he, he profoundly connects mm -hmm. to that and wanting to give too much away what yeah. he might've done. But um, I think, uh, you know, even so within that, he, he can only hold it in the sort of, the recess at any one time so how much is it a lived life when you when you have to suppress that and that, that i found truly tragic another great thing about this character is is the physicality he's a very physical guy yeah. uh, from the way he handles with uh, he, he handles people for, uh, to the way he works as a rancher even to the way he neutered uh, the, the, the bull so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have to compare with other uh characters that you were before yeah. um how 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 was this demanding or challenging uh, a new skill set a new way to inform the body and how mm -hmm. it responded to those tasks and i had some time in montana with some extraordinary people who helped okay. me through doing some ranching and some branding events and i was in the landscape with the people and animals that have been doing that time in memoriam so i felt connected in, in to the history as well as the actual physical aspect of being Phil's body in that kind of landscape I was really allowed to do those things and look he's extraordinary because he, he he has such refined dexterity with his fingers he can whittle a tiny mm -hmm. little table and chair for his brother as a sort of um yeah as a as a 
insulting gift or he can castrate a bull with one <laughs> fell swoop of an ungloved hand and a knife. Yeah. And it, it was important for me to be able to really feel that when you're watching him, mm -hmm. that I'm embodying him, not just a uh, uh, kind of impersonating it, that I could actually do those things not to any degree of dexterity or brilliance and mastery <laughs> that he has in the book. He's sort of extraordinarily gifted, but at least to try and, and yeah, engage with that and, and live with that for a while. It really helps. Thank you very much. Great, great performance Thank and one of the so best much. performances of this year. So yeah. again, congratulations.